Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a few small little things. Um, so we're going to be installing an aerial, which is this one. We're going to be installing this aerial um, onto the Fiesta. So this is a Mark 8 Fiesta aerial. Obviously it's much more stubby, um, looks much nicer than the current one that is currently on there. Um, so we're going to install that. That's nice and cheap off eBay. I think I got it for like 10 quid off of genuine Ford parts. So eBay, go get them. Maybe I'll link it, leave a link in the description. Um, but yeah, so that's super, super simple. I'll just unscrew the old one, pop this one on. Second thing we might be doing is adding a car rim to the front of my sunscreen back there. Um, I'm a little bit scared to do it because of how central I need it, <laughs> um, but we're gonna give it a try. We'll see what happens. Um, and if it all goes wrong, I'll just peel it off and just have a matte black sun strip. Um, and then maybe, as I've been saying in the past few videos, do a little bit under the engine bay and actually put like, like, cooler covers on and stuff. Because I'm almost done with painting. I've been away a bit. Um, so yeah, long story short, it's almost done. I promise. I promise you all. Um, so anyway, let's get on. So the first thing we're going to do is the aerial. So that is the new aerial that I have. Um, and obviously the old one is much, much longer. Just for size comparison, you can see how it's going to sit. So we've just kind of smartened up the whole top. So all you got to do is grab it, give it a nice big twist. So remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. Undo that, that one's off. And now I'll just do a side by side comparison of these two. And that is it. So now that's all on, um, I'm going to use this as my pointing stick, but you can see it's much, much shorter. It looks so much better than that bouncing around everywhere. You've got a nice big stable stick. Okay, so what I've done is I've measured. So first of all, I've measured the windscreen. Um, so from here to here, I think was 60 centimeters. And from the left side to there is 60 centimeters. So I'm using that side of the tape is my center line. I've then measured my vinyl, if you can see that. It's a bit see-through, let me put it up against my chest. Um, so I've measured my vinyl. That came out of 58 centimeters or something like that, which means I'm 29 centimeters from the middle. I, I can't remember the exact numbers, but about that. And I've just put a little permanent marker down that side. Um, so that shows me my center point. And then I'm gonna line that line up, which is, it's only a rough line. I don't even know if you can see that. But anyway, there's a, there's a rough line just there. There you can see it. Um, and that rough line, or rough-ish, we're talking like a few millimetres out, not like centimetres out. So a few mil, uh, hopefully you don't see it by eye. You, you may, you may not. If you do, I might just try and pull it off. Um, I'm going to line that line up with that line there. <sighs> Stick it on, hope for the best. Um, but we will, we'll see what happens. So basically what I've done, um, the way that vinyl works, or the way that this vinyl works, um, basically you have to, there's two sheets, you've got the top sheet, the actual vinyl itself, and then the bottom sheet. You peel the bottom sheet away, obviously first of all you need to push the vinyl itself onto that top sheet, so really compress it, make sure it's nice and stuck, so that way when you start to peel the top sheet away, your letters should, in a perfect world, <laughs> come away with the paper. Um, so when it comes away with the paper, that's what you're going to use then. It's a bit windy today. I'm a little bit scared about doing it. Um, so sorry if I don't kind of commentate over the top of it. But you guys can watch me pop it on and we'll see the finished results. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Who cares, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
know what? That isn't too bad. <laughs> So for me to be able to do this, I had to take off the bonnet strut here. Um, but basically, that's how it's going to fit. They do say this side's a bit tight, so they do supply with like a cable tie. If you want a cable tie, these pipes a bit closer. But I'm basically going to stick the Velcro that's supplied onto the back of here, stick it onto there, and then put it all back together again. So what you want to do is get your cover and slide it in. Make sure all the pipes are out of the way. Give it a nice push so it's stuck onto the Velcro and you're all good to go. There we go, that's installation complete.